Welcome to another episode with me here at Little Story Station. Today is, uh, uh, you know, a special day because uh, today is the birthday of one of our favorite authors. Yeah, he uh, is the author of um, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Uh, he is the author of... Uh, a very hungry caterpillar. Have you guessed who it is? That's right. Today is Eric Carlis' uh, birthday. And so, in Little Story Station, we are going to be featuring a story written by Eric Carlis. Alright? And um, in uh, Little Story Station, we have... Uh, uh, you know the reading of brown bear brown bear here and of uh, the very hungry caterpillar and uh, don't forget to click on the link above to read those with me all right so today auntie is going to be reading the very quiet cricket you see this book is also very similar to uh, you know the very hungry caterpillar in terms of how um, you know, it is uh, presented. So, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to be as interesting as, uh, you know, the very hungry caterpillar. Shall we read to find out what's in store in this book? The Very Quiet Cricket Written by Eric Carle One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Who is a cricket? This one, this insect here, this is a cricket. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. Wow, when you rub the wings together, it looks like the crickets make all the chirping noise. But uh, nothing happened. No sound. Uh-oh. Why is that so? Huh, why is that so? Let's find out. Good morning, whizzed a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer so he rubbed his wings together but nothing happened not a sound hmm. hello whispered a praying mantis scrapping its huge front legs together the little cricket wanted to answer so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittlebug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together and but nothing happened. Not a sound. Hmm. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. Once again, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Wow. I wonder what's happening. Why is he not able to make the sound? Hmm. How are you? Bumped a bumblebee. <laughs> Flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, whirled a dragonfly, gliding about the water. 
the little cricket wanted to answer her, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. A lunar moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the lunar moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Wow! Finally, our little cricket was able to chirp and make a sound. Wow! And that is the end of this story. Did you guys enjoy the story? I wonder why the little cricket was not able to make any sound when uh, a bumblebee or a mosquito or a locust or a cicada made all those uh, you know, noises and uh, wished him a uh, good morning or a good evening. But as soon as he saw another quiet cricket in the night, he was able to chirp and make the most wonderful, sweet sounding chirp. Yeah, there is a science behind this, but that is for another time. You know, crickets make sound only in the night. But did you notice something? They were not making sound using their mouth. They were making the sound using their wings by rubbing their wings together. Wow, that's an interesting way to make a chirp, isn't it? Alright, I hope you enjoyed reading the story with me. And, uh, you know, Eric Carlyankal is so generous to have given us these beautiful stories. Yeah, I love Eric Carlyankal's uh, work and his books, especially The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And uh, The Very Quiet Cricket is quite a thing, right? Alright, if you enjoyed the story as much as I did, like this video. And... If you have not subscribed to Little Story Station, please have your mom and dad click on the subscribe button. It looks just like this. Yeah, click on that button and also a little bell icon next to it. This way, whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified and you can watch it immediately. Alright. Auntie will meet you again with another interesting episode. Until I see you again, read a lot of books and have fun you guys. Bye!